if you had no money, a full tank of fuel and 24 hours, what would you do? That's absolutely no commitment. You've got no one to look after, nothing to do, just 24 hours to do what you want to do. We ended up taking our van life conversion, van conversion thing, our little micro camper van, to Dinnerwick Quarry. More specifically, Dinnerwick Quarry Bus Terminus. It's free parking and you can get to Dinnerwick Quarry easily from there. We walked up to the actual gateway to go into it. Some absolutely amazing scenery with Cribgock just tipping out the clouds, Snowden Summit in the clouds. This is going to be amazing. We're going to see loads of old ruined miners' buildings, amazing old mine workings, not to mention cracking views as well. Last time I came here was with my partner, Danielle, Mrs. and the Indie Vanna Jones. <laughs> and then we had a great time just running around looking at everything that's here, all the old mine workings. But then as soon as we left, she opened up her TikTok and noticed that there was something that we really wanted to see that we didn't actually see. The barracks. It's like two long rows of old miners' buildings. So we've done a bit of research, figured out where we think it might be, and that's where we're heading to first. What Snowdonia is most famous for? Woof. The Snowdonia sheep. That's a baby lamb. There's one just there as well. He's just getting his horns in. Look at that! It's amazing just to see all the old history just laying around. An old cart that used to cart the slate up the actual hills. All the old buildings. Little bits of the old train track are still here. And I think we're coming up to the top of an incline. An incline is basically the top of a hill where they used to bring the carts up and down that hill. So they used to fill up at the top, take it down to the bottom for it to be put on a train and then sent off elsewhere. Don't go over the fences if you come here. Just admire from a distance. But look at the size of those pulleys up there. And they're the cables that used to run down the incline. This will show you a bit more what I mean by the incline. Here we go, right. stand nice and stable. There's your pulleys. You can see the cables running down. See the cables just there. You can see the tracks that everything used to uh, go on. And it used to go down there. The tracks just go all the way down. And they're still here for us to look at. Just be careful if you do come for a look here. It's well worth a visit because it is really fascinating the fact you can see everything. Just be careful. That's it. Don't go beyond the gates because you you will see people behind the gates. Uh, they're just stupid people. Just be careful. Oh god, I'm surprised the scrapman ain't been and picked up all this. But I think we've found the barracks. I believe this to be living quarters for some of the slate miners. Not so much the actual miners, but sort of the staff that was slightly higher up that actually got the chance of living here. You really get a sense of that when you're walking through here. And when you see the view, you think, mm, I can't beat a job like that. But some of these workers were away from home for months and months at a time. Now that must have been hard, especially with the labor intensive work that they actually did. To find this, you come up to the end of the gateway where there's two gates. One goes left, one goes right. You go down the one that goes right. It's absolutely mental to know some of the people that used to work here used to commute by foot and chain ferry every single day just to come and work here. Best part of 10 to 12 miles from Anglesey. Snowdon, the clouds are starting to clear. A little information for the reason why I picked Snowdonia. I'm addicted to checking the weather apps. And Snowdon is supposed to be clear sky after 1 a.m. Will I get a clear sunrise up there? Will I even go for a sunrise hike up there? Well, that is just a thought anyway. Anyway, I've got to climb up that incline now. See, it doesn't look too bad when you do that, but when you put the phone level... <laughs> you get back up to the top and you've got this incline again. Same thing, they used to bring the slate down from the top all the way down to the bottom. There's more cable reels and stuff just up there. It's just such a fascinating quarry. This is exactly why I'd pick Snowdonia. Just look at the view. Look at the view. Lamberis over there. Up in the clouds there is Snowdon. That's Crib Gok. If we zoom in, you can probably still see about there the path that goes up Snowdon, or one of the paths, the Lamberis path. Look at how beautiful that is. See, now this is something funny. I mean, that building there, that's for the electric mountain underneath. But you can see that cliff there. You can see the path going up it. It goes up there, up that way, up that way to what I would assume is that up there. Now my knowledge has always been don't cross the gate. So why have they put a sty? It's not just any old sty. They've put slate either side of it to make a step coming down as well. So I'm sat there thinking are the fences just there with all the signs so that it takes away the liability of any incidents from them? Could well be. Should we go up and have a look at the top and just see what that building was? So it looks like there's two ways I can go. That path or this way. I'm going this way because it's a cool little building to look at first. Look at that. It's pretty cool, isn't it? To be fair, 
I wouldn't have really have said that was old. All the sharp corners on it, that doorway, I'm not going to go in it, but it is what it is. Oh my God, if that's the wall and that's the outside, is the wall really that thick? What were they trying to hide in there? Maybe that was where they were like putting all the, the explosives. Oh, that'll explain why there's so much on the roof actually. Oh, the explosives bunker, maybe. There were some crazy people around there. They were looking at a big slate of rock that was vertical going, we can climb that, you know, and they're trying to set up ropes and stuff. Let's go around the other path and see what's around here. Can't lie, I'm a little bit nervous about this part. So if it gets too much, I'm just gonna go. It looks like loads of people have walked up here. I'll go this way, see what's up here. Yeah, it's um, there. Oh, wow. It's another one of those big real towers. Wow. That cable would have gone all the way down there over that little reel there with that car just straight down god there's another real tower up there another building just over there that's that big incline that we saw at the front but it's all exploring for another day i'm about to get down a mile and a half back to the van and head off to my next location just near to the shop it's always um just polite i think that's the right word so you, when you're out and about in random new places like snowdonia buying stuff from local independent shops uh, they rely heavily on tourism so it's just wise it's just nice it's i don't know it's something i do do you guys do that as well next stop was the ogwin cottage now if you carry on going past the ogwin cottage on the a5 there's laybys on the right go on one of those laybys because it's free parking don't park on the road you will get towed but trafan just there in the background penny year old one just there, as you can tell, I like me mountains, free parking. Let's go for a little walk around Crimid Well. In the shadow of Penny or Old Wen, you've got some crazy people wild swimming. They look like they're having a good time. You know when you've got that nagging feeling of you've forgotten something? I've just got here, just got onto the path. Realised, crap, I forgot to put my boots on. I'm only going around the lake, so it's not the end of the world. It's not a safety thing. Yeah. got to do every single time we come here, have a look at the waterfall from on the ridge. Whoosh. The old mice eater of fun. Let's see if we can get Adam and Eve. No, we can't see them today. The two rocks that are sat on the top, they're just, they make Trafan. It's the one mountain in the Ogwin Valley that I haven't yet done. You've got Trafan over there. Glitterfat, Glitterfara, Cassie and Gwent. Over there, Egan. Of course, we can't forget Penny or Old Wen, but that's not part of the glitters. That's one of the Cardinal Mountains. This has got to be one of my favourite spots in the whole of Snowdonia. But look down the valley. How fast those clouds are moving. Wow. And just over this little ridge, just here, is the best view in Snowdonia, or one of the best views. I'll show you the best view tomorrow. Here we go. Let's show you this view. I've got a crouch down. You're on wide angle lens. Are you ready? Three, two. How perfect is that? <laughs> How cool is that? Ooh, it's just amazing, pure amazing. There's a pathway uh, just there. See all the boulders falling? Just there. That's called the Devil's Kitchen. You can scramble up that. My favourite hike here is up a garn, across the top, and then back down uh, the Devil's Kitchen. Just look. Wow. So the walk I'm doing today is basically just the perimeter of the entire lake. It's called Crim Well. You sometimes get wild Shetland ponies and goats and stuff. I think the uh, sheep and goats are just up there. And I think the ponies have been moved over to the Cardinals, but they are sometimes here. Can you ask for anything better than this? Look at the view. Nobody around, just, this is the life. I was saying about the Devil's Kitchen, how it's just a load of boulder fields that you've got to scramble down. There it is. That there is the path. Well, you can see the path uh, just about there. And it just basically, you've got to scramble up all of that. And then a little bit more behind that rock there, that'll take you to the top of the Devil's Cage. One of the things I truly love about this exact location is it's an area of scientific um, interest. Basically, there's a few restrictions on here. You can't swim in the lake and stuff like that. There's a couple of endangered species of plants, uh, both in the actual lake and outside the lake. There's microorganisms that are not really discovered yet. They've all been, they're going through the process of discover, discoverization. Is that the right word? There's a couple of endangered species of wildlife here, a couple of toads, a couple of frogs. And it's just because it's in a protected area, it lows down to things like the plant life. You wouldn't see this sort of plant life here. 
because people don't really come here too much. Plus, you get little baby sheepies. I, I hope you understood that. It's quite fascinating to me. And I hope I portrayed it well. We're going on to something more fun. Look at that cool waterfall coming down. There's another one uh, just over there. And can you see these slabs? People actually rock climb up them. They're called the Idwall Slabs. A couple of my friends on YouTube actually do that as well. Uh, John the Mountain Man. Shout out to him. He's just a bit too crazy for my liking. He'll say, I'm going up Snowdon. Oh, nice one. No, he's going to rock climb up the side that nobody's allowed to actually go up. Pfft, not my cup of tea, that. I like a nice gentle hike with scenery just like this. It's just started raining. Feels nice. Looks beautiful over the lake. But it's time to head back to the car and go and park up for a bit. This is absolutely amazing. I highly recommend you should all do this. Just think, the next 24 hours are your last ever 24 hours. So what would you do? Go and do it. That's exactly what I'm doing. It's absolutely amazing. So the one thing that would make this better, and that's if Danielle was with me. But she's not, so we've got to make the most of it. It has to be the best way to spend the first six hours of my 24 hours in Snowdonia. Make sure you check these out. They look a bit strange. Let me run you through what they are. So, there's loads of them. They've all got writing on. So, Trafan, 917 metres above sea level. See that hole? You go up to it. Boof. There's Trafan. Let's do the other one. Uh, Penny a old when is 978 metres above sea level. Whoosh. There it is. Uh, is there one for Glitterfac? Oh no, Glitter Flower, 1,001 metres above sea level. Whew, how cool are they? Got here, parked up, Chapel Creek. I've picked this location solely because I know it has phone signal. I need to do some work. We've got the Snowdon Range in the distance, just over there. You can see the mountain thing just there. That's the Snowdon Range, just up there. Mole Sea Bod. This is going to be a good night. You can really start to see sort of a cloud inversion happening over on the Snowdon range with Eloed just poking out and Snowdon in the actual summit. Now, yes, this may only be a lay-by, but I have added that much sound deadening and insulation to this van when I built it. I don't hear any cars that go past, so it's perfectly fine. Just look at that view that I've got to wake up to in the morning. Fingers crossed the cloud actually does shift overnight like it says on the weather forecast. That way I'll get a clear summit sunrise when I get to the top, if I decide to go up there. So now, sat in the back, I've just got a few little bits and bobs to do. I've got to transfer some footage from the bird over to my editing software. Uh, I've got to re -batrify all of my head torches and stuff like that, ready for if I do decide to do the sunrise raining at the minute so i'm not 100 percent sure it's even going to be a sunrise then again the summits are free of clouds so even if it is wet i'm still going to get a view i mean just look at the view outside of my door like how cool is that i didn't get up for sunrise partially because of this huge few things i got up looked outside wow cloudy but there's not going to be a sunrise went to bed so just got up now it's seven o'clock let's see what the view's like outside see what i mean oh. got a clear sky oh there's people paddling down there wild swimming so it's still really cloudy that side but the range has cleared up on the way to the car park and look at that for a cloud inversion granted that's the mist coming off the water but just look at that how cool here's the start of the path do -do 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 -do. watkins path the prettiest path up snowden by far the path starts off going through a foresty area which we're just starting to get into then past the world famous watkins path waterfalls then up a load of steps across the elowed ridge then up a big steep scree bank up to the summit of Snowdon and make that sound a lot easier than it actually is. It's really not. I had a couple of friends up here last week, the vast way over on uh, YouTube and TikTok. They did this in two hours and 20 minutes. Last time I did this, it was four hours. There's a load of reasons why it's quite a tough path. Um, personally, I just think it's because it's the one that starts the closest to sea level. You think all the people that say these, oh, we climbed Snowdon from Penny Pass. The pig path and the miners path. That path starts nearly 400 meters above sea level. You've knocked off a third of the hike already. It's quarter past seven now, so let's see what time we get up there. And that's what it looks like inside a cloud inversion. It's starting to lift and move up a little bit, but how cool is that? It's quite eerie, isn't it? Actually, well, there's the first look at the Watkins waterfalls, or part of them anyway. I mean, just how cool are these waterfalls? You can come down here and swim in them. It's a really popular swim spot. 
and they go all the way down there. Just look at how tranquil this is. So that ridge there, behind that mountain on that ridge, that's where the summit is. It's just absolutely breathtaking. You've got the river coming down here, uh, coming up to this little dam. That just regulates the water that goes down a waterfall because people just love to swim in them. How nice is this? I'm the only person around. There's not a single person. I could do absolutely anything up here and nobody would know. You feel so insignificant when you're in a landscape like this and you're the only person around. When you're all alone, you sort of start, your mind starts whirling, doesn't it? You start thinking, I mean, you see all this land that I'm in. I'm in a big, like, sort of wallow. I'm in a big hole, basically. This all used to be a glacier back in the day. I mean, obviously, times have moved on. Slate mining came after that. But, I mean, currently underneath my feet, there are, like, fossils of fish and stuff like that. It's just mad to think like that, isn't it? There she is, there she is, all the way up there, the summit of the highest mountain in Wales. Snowdon! What do you think they're saying? There's a few sheep in the path. What? What's up, guys? You waiting for me to answer back? No! No! Oh, there's another one kicking off down there somewhere as well. You start to see the rest of the path now. You go up this path just here, and it wingles round loads of steps. Across the top of that ridge, up there, then there's a path that goes really steep screw that goes sort of round here and up to the summit. It's brutal. There's the path. It's absolutely brutal. Crap myself last time I was on that. I'd fully prepared myself for what all the reading and stuff that I'd done and research. Nowhere I mentioned that big steep scree path. So I'm stood down the bottom, it's right on the edge of the cliff. Really steep, loose scree. It turns into the steps further up. Sat at the top for over an hour thinking, I don't want to go down there. Can I go a different way? Can I go? It wasn't until I got down that I realized there was actually a different way, which I might take that way today actually. It goes from the summit across the ridge you path down the back of there basically around the back of all of that and then comes back in on the path down by the waterfall it's the ridge dew path that turns onto the cambrian way the higher you get the better the view gets you've got the sea over there it looks like a cloud inversion happening behind that mountain beautiful this is where the path splits we can go over the ridge that way to snowden or up that path there to Elowed. just got this little ridge path to go along past that big lump of rock and then we'll start at the bottom of the slope the dreaded slope so it's just beneath the big dreaded slope but i just wanted to show you this view this is the miners and pig path but from the other side there you go that's where the miners and pig path split and that's where it goes all the way up towards the summit up there all those people down there climbing that and i've not seen a single person there's quite a few people up on crib gop today as well see a few people bobbing around on the top you move please buddy i need to get past you there's the start of the slope going all the way up there with the sign just before i start that i'm going to get rid of some weight out of the backpack and drink and have some sugar that'll give me the burst to get up there because it's not the best thing to do to stop halfway up there all right let's go let's do this we've got this loose screw under your feet it's exposed right on the edge it's fun it may be tricky to do some filming up here but i still managed to stop and get a few view, view pictures for you i mean check out the view because it does rise quite quickly the view gets even better really quickly it's just absolutely breathtaking i made it off the slope i'm up on the plateau look at the cloud that's just come in there i mean it's still crystal clear there but over the ridgey path Oh, that was not enjoyable. Plateau, so we've got, I don't know, 40 metres to ascend. So it's just down there on the right hand side. After five minutes of catching my breath, we went past the old cafe building and we just reached the summit. It's just it's so rewarding to reach the summit. I know everybody queues up to get to the summit pictures and there's horror stories of all that sort of stuff to do with Snowden. But it really is a rewarding feeling to hit that summit point. And what makes it even better is the trip point is actually quite a really nice looking one. So that's probably what makes it the most busiest mountain in the world. Snowden. 1,085 metres above sea level. But it's time to start our head down. We got up there and there was no cloud five minutes later the cloud just billowed in it was only a quick one it was the cloud was only there for a few minutes the thing with this route i can see the route that i've taken 
that's the uh, Watkins path there. And it goes all the way down around that corner back to the car. Whereas I'm going that way, round a big hill, and joining back onto that path further down. The only paths around here that I've not done around Snowdonia, the Cambrian Way. I've done the Ridge, yeah, just not the Cambrian Way. Um, to be fair, I don't even know where it cuts off. I've got my map so I can stay on top of that. But uh, it's a proper trail. So in theory, it should be a decent path. In theory. I don't know what it's like. But the Ridge U path just living up to its name. No, loads of tiny sort of top of the ridge pathways. This path is one of the slightly busier paths. Nowhere near as busy as the miners and pig. But there is a few people up here which does make it a little bit sketchy. You get to some little pinch points where it's a big drop each side. And then we hit the cut the fork. The top one that goes up left is the Cambrian Way. The bottom one is the Ridge U path. Yeah, I'm definitely on the right ruse here. Am I just to track? That's the Ridge U path that goes up over that ridge there. So I'm just going to keep following it. So according to the map, where I am right now on this little summit point, it's called Clogwing Do. I need to learn how to speak Welsh. I feel if I stick a Welsh accent on it, it's going to be kind of racist and I don't want to do that, but I can see the path uh, that I'm taking down there now, which is quite cool actually, because then I can see the route it takes. I think it goes up that other hill over there. I don't know. I'm going to find out. But so far, it's looking like a good path, this. We purposely did no googling and no research on this path just because I wanted to try my map reading to see if my map reading was up to scratch and I could determine what the terrain was just by reading the map. We did hit a few bits that we thought, hold on a second, that looks a bit sketchy. I didn't expect to scramble like that down there. Now there was a few steep sections on the map, you could see them, they were only short but really steep, 100 metre descends over short periods of times. I didn't know whether it would be a path or it would be really steep scrambles like this. It turns out it was a bit of both. So now I know the difference on the map of what's what. I ended up just turning into a stepping stone path the whole way through the bottom end of the valley. And now we link onto the old Slate Mine Railway. How cool is this? Proper historical. This is quite cool. You can tell we're getting close to the waterfalls. A beautiful one down there. You got this bridge here. How cool does that look? I don't know how cool the bridge looks. I was scared. Look at that. Oh, but that runs down into that one, which both run onto the. I'm gonna. Oh, that's nerve wracking. Oh, and they all run down onto the actual Watkins Path waterfalls further down. Time to say goodbye to the train track. We're heading down this cobble path here to the Watkins Path waterfalls just down there. The Cambrian Way. It really was one of the better paths I've done coming down Snowdon. It was scenic, it was quiet, it was relaxing, it was nice. It really was beautiful. We got back to the top of the waterfalls, headed down the path, into the van, and then headed to see Danielle. Because that's exactly how I'd spend the last of the 24 hours that I've ever going to live. How would you spend yours? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're new around here, please subscribe. And have you liked the video? If not, why? It's free.